guys? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up, y'all? Guess what I'm doing today? I think I may have a solution to your over and played out turkey. Today we're going to be making a turkey pot pie. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make up the dough. I already have it pre-measured. Okay. My dough happened to be more than the normal size. Anyone who follow my channel know that I always have to double and triple my stuff because my children just simply eat a lot. Okay. So. I'm going to start off with, I'm going to give you like the normal recipe, okay, for those who want to um, uh, try this uh, pie, okay, for six servings, you're going to need two and one-fourths, no, I'm sorry, two and three-fourths cup of all-purpose flour, you're going to need six tablespoons of salted butter, okay, in one third cup plus a cup of lard or vegetable oil, your choice, okay? Dice it. Also, that margarine or butter, whatever your choice is, that needs to be cold. Also, if you're going to use olive oil, grapeseed oil, don't really freeze over too well, but get it as stiff as possible. And you're going to be needing two tablespoons of it. Yes, you can use oil because I've done that before also. Okay. And you're going to need one beaten egg. And that's just going to be for the glaze of the uh, the pie crust. You know, give it that nice golden look. I have, let's see, if it gives six servings, I have 24 servings here, y'all. 24 servings. Trust me, they're going to eat it all because they ain't going to do it serving size, okay? They're going to be tripling, double, and tripling their sizes, okay? I'm going to cut these up and get my lard cut up, and I'm going to place it in a bowl. And I generally save my papers to help me oil my pan because it's always it's always margarine or butter I like using butter I prefer butter left on the paper also guys you're going to be needing six tablespoons of cold water as cold as you can get it I got 24 here I'm gonna be needing 24 okay so I'm gonna start cutting this butter up like this now mm-hmm oh yeah Oh, yeah. So I got that all cut up. And I'm just going to take it and put it over here. Now, y'all going to see my lard. It may look a little gross, but uh, it's all right. Because what I do is I rendered it from my bacon. And I take it and use it in my pie crust. Now, this right here, it'll be okay because, you know, it's a little dark. Because it's going, you know, for like a pot pie. Now, if I was making an apple pie or something like that, I'll use a cleaner render. And what that is, you know, nothing big about it. Just save the fat from my bacon. That's it. So I'm going to go ahead on and add that on up in there, y'all. See what I'm talking about? <laughs> it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. And also, what I used was, you, you're, you can use unsalted butter. I use one salted, I use two unsalted and one salted, okay? So we're going to go ahead on in here like this. My hands are clean, guys. They're very clean. Very, very clean. Because your girl ain't going to play that. Y'all like my bowl? This bowl, man, I can mix everything I need to mix up in this bad boy. I ran across this when I was packing up my stuff. I was like, oh yeah, my bowl. Oh, yay, I'm going to use it. Now, you want to work your uh, dough. I do have a dough cutter, but my hands work just as well. You know? 
you just want it to look like this. Get that nice beady look, you know. That's when you know you got it all incorporated. That margarine, that lard, is well incorporated in with that flour. And you're going to have yourself some good dough. So I think I mixed it pretty well, guys. Those who know what pie crust is supposed to look like, you know, to get it started, I think this is it. Okay. So now I'm going to generously add my water because I have so much uh, to cover here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do like 12 cups at a time. You only need to do six. Okay? And you're going to add it gradually. Okay, so here we go. One. We got six guys. Okay, that's 12. I'm going to work that in. Okay, so I don't feel no wet up in this bad boy right there. And 12 more. 12 more. Start bringing it all together. Oh, yeah. One, two, three. Okay. See how they're starting to come together, guys? Okay, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to mix it up. And I'm going to be back with you guys. Okay? Okay? So that's all <clears throat> done, guys. Now, you don't need salt because the simple fact is... Don't, don't forget that rubber thing is on the table. Okay. You don't need salt because you're using salted margarine or butter, okay? I didn't use as much as because I don't like a lot of salt in my food because I'm going to be putting some inside of my uh, mixture, my turkey mixture. So, save yourself. out at least a half a cup of flour and this is just for the dusting okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take it out my bowl and I'm just gonna work my dough a little bit so what we're gonna do is we're gonna improvise this <laughs> old drawers. We're going to improvise. So, I guess that's half. I hope that's half. And I'm going to set that one over there like that. I'm going to take this. This, you don't have to need it, guys. You really don't. This is just me. This is what I do. Okay? Get it into a nice ball. And you don't want it sticky either. So I'm going to bring it in the ball like this. This is a little secret. You take your dough. And you put it in a little ball like that. You take it under. Like that. And when you roll it out. You shouldn't have no problems. Okay. You do this too. And you get yourself some saran wrap. Whatever kind of wrap you use. Okay. Here I got clean wrap. Come on up out of here. Okay. So you're going to want to cover your dough. Okay. And let it rest about 5 to 10 minutes. I'm going to let mine rest 10 minutes. So that way... I can go ahead on and prepare the filling. 
Okay. So I'm going to wrap it just like I did the other one. And I'll be back when I start on my filling. Okay, guys, I'm back. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm put me some seasonings in the bottom. This is going to be for my mixture. Okay? For my filling. So I'm going to mix in a half a teaspoon of pepper, tablespoon of Miss Dash, tablespoon of salt, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, chopped garlic, chopped onions, okay? And, of course, I'm gonna be adding my chicken base to this. Okay, so, it's gonna be the same way I made my chicken broth, okay? So I'm gonna add a little chicken flavor in here. But it's going to end up tasting like turkey. So what we're going to do is I'm going to turn my hot water on, guys. I could have boiled some if I was thinking, but the little tea kettle that I had, it wouldn't be enough. So we're going to let that water get nice and hot. And while we're letting that water get nice and hot, I'm just going to slide my pot on. Okay? And... Like one fourth cup of water so that that water could get nice and hot. While we are off camera, I went on ahead and diced up some potatoes. You guys know how to do that. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add them to that one fourth cup of water because those really need to, you know, cook but not get really soft because it's going to go in the oven. Okay, so here's my leftover turkey. I'm going to remove that in the skin. Mm, I'm even going to add that little bit of dressing. I'm going to discard that and all the gristle like from there. Yeah, it got a little toast on it, but mm -hmm, it was good. Anywho. Okay. So I'm going to go through here because I did debone it. Oh, this is another nice piece. Oh, yeah. Okay, so... We're going to get this cut up real nicely into chunks. Yes, we did. So in the meanwhile, that's that dressing I'm going to put in there. I didn't see, I didn't cut up onions and all that because it's still onions that in the food. The turkey prior to. What is this? I don't want nothing like that. So I'm going to dice that meat up. I'm going to remove that skin. Okay. I'm going to take the trim. But I don't want in my soup. Oh. I mean, not my soup, my pot pie. Cut this in nice little chunks. Okay, I'm going to cut this up, and I'm going to be back with you guys. But you don't have to ever put that in. I'm going to cut this, I'm going to be back with you guys. You just blend it all in, okay? I'm saying that. Okay, guys, I got my potatoes in there. I'm going to trying to stick a little bit, but okay. 
Here we go. I'm just going to flip my flour really fast so it don't lump up. Two cups of flour. Let me add a tad bit more because I don't want those to burn. Let me kind of move that around. Can you guys see that in there? It's like I'm gonna get a look at my broth here. My filling. Okay. So this is gonna thicken up, guys. I'm just going to add a little more to it. A little bit of hot water. And I'll tell you how much I have here. So, you just make yours to your liking. Okay? Because you may double your uh, servings. You may do 12. I'm doing 24. Okay? Uh-oh. Oh, it's okay. Yikey, yikes. Let me see. Let me turn that up because I want that to thicken pretty fast. Okay. Can you guys see down in there? That's all my seasonings. Okay. I'm going to set this to the side. So see how it's starting to thicken already? I got it turned up very high. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to thicken. I'm going to take out a little bit because Melina is allergic to carrots. I decided to add a half a cup more water. See how creamy that is? That way I don't have to buy cream of chicken soup. I used to put cream of chicken soup, and you guys can use cream of chicken soup if you desire to do so, okay? You may not want to go through all these preliminaries, okay? So in goes my meat. I don't want to mix it too much because when I pour it over, it's going to mix anyway. Okay. So that's that. I'm going to get my dough rolled out. You don't want to cook it so much because, remember, it's going to go into the oven. Okay. And I generally cook mine for on... Uh, on a 325 okay for like um an hour half an hour for an hour or to that that crust is golden brown you know so it's bubbling on the side you know how apple pies look just like that so I'm getting the table all together and I'll be back Okay guys, I'm going to go ahead and get my pan all greased up. And see that's what I was saying I used the paper for. Grease it up really well. Get myself another little piece and throw that off in there. And I'm going to be using, I meant to use salted due to I don't have much salt in my food. And I did put a tablespoon of salt in my back, my uh, filling. So what I'm going to do, well, I was going to say batter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a little taste test just to make sure that it's salted enough. Mmm. Guys, 
It means nothing else. Mm. Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. So, I'm just going to dust my pan a little bit. Mm, 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 mm. I'm telling y'all. Try this. Okay. So, I've got my pan dusted, and I'm going to set that to the side. Now we're getting ready to roll out this dough. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, y'all see why I had to make up so much dough? See how big that pan oh, is? I'm way off from where the dough is at. Oh. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to give it a little dusting on the table so it don't be sliding all over the place because it ain't got nice and soft, guys. Nice and soft. So we're just going to dust it a little bit. Okay. I'm going to lay that baby right there. Put a little bit of flour on my rolling pin. Give myself an ample amount of space. And I'm going to roll frontwards and backwards and sideways to the right, to the left. Now, we're not wanting so much. We're not going so much after a um, round pie crust. We need more so of a rectangle. So, I'm going to get this as thin as possible, but not too thin because we don't want to cause no breakage. Right, guys? Okay, so I'm trying to get that rectangular shape. Bring your, front, bring your dough out from the middle to the end, okay? Work it from the middle to the end. You don't want your end pieces, your edges to be too thin. And that should be okay. So I'm going to take and put, I'm going to dust it again. So when I fold it over, it won't stick. Okay. So I'm going to try a trick. I'm going to see a little hack. What you call it? That's, if that's what they call it, right? A hack. And I think this may be too big. What I was going to try to do is roll the dough over the pen. And I think my dough is like a half an inch, just a half an inch thick, because I like to have some dough. I don't want just, you know, a little thin piece of dough. That's going to aggravate me. A little crust, a little bit of crust. So I'm going to put it halfway, like that. I'm going to open this baby up. Do it like that. And bring it on to me. And stretch a little bit over the edge. Got that little hole there for my fingernail. Let me fix it. It looks so ugly. Give it a little pinch. Uh-oh, <laughs> it's not wanting to stay. But how be ever, I'm going to take a piece of of this from the edge and I'm going to cover that because I don't want that to leak out. I'm going to get it. Leak out. And, what? Nothing. I was just doing I'm that. I'm kick your butt. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So I'm going to go like this, guys. Put my dough like this off the edge. So I'm going to call that good. I'm going to cut this edge off as well. Okay. Alright. Now, what you have to do, you have to let your filling cool because if not, it's going to make this so weak and it's just going to almost deteriorate your dough. Okay. 
and I'm going to give it a quick covering up so that can stay soft and I'm going to clean up a little bit and we're going to come back and we're going to finish this baby up now is the time while you're waiting for that to cool, when you get down to your last half, half an hour of cooling time, you're going to want to set your uh, oven at 325. So it preheated. Once you do your top layer, rolling that out. You should hear that little beep from your oven saying, I'm ready, baby. Go ahead on and put that pie in there. Okay, so I'll be back in just a sec. Okay, guys. What I went on ahead and done was I went on and rolled out the other dough. Since you already seen me roll out the first one, there was no need for the second. So, our filling is ready to go in, baby. Ready, ready, ready. Look at that. See how thick it is? That's going to be good. I'm going to poke some holes up in this baby. I'm going to do how my mama used to do. She used to do it with folk. And we're going to do like this here. And this is so that the steam can vent through the uh the dough okay and it won't shrink up all right so we're gonna take and i'm just gonna take it and i'm just gonna pour it over in here like this do it like that okay excuse the noise I'm using metal on metal. Try to be as quiet as I can, guys. Okay. I'm going to take it and smooth it out evenly. Oh, man, I'm swallowing hard. Y'all wonder why. Mmm, it smells so good. Let me break that up in there. Some of that dressing. I like that. Oh, and let me make a correction too. I said put the oven on 325. Uh, put it on uh, 350, babies. Now I'm just going to take and add a little water. Ain't going to do nothing. It ain't going to do nothing. Because I don't want it dry. Okay. It's going to cook all in because, trust me, I got enough seasoning running through and out this baby. Oh, yeah, I do. So that should give it enough juice, I hope. Let me see. Because I don't want this, uh, I don't want it all dried out. So if that happens, no harm done. No harm done at all. Because it's going to cook up in there and it's going to be good. And let's get this open. I'm going to take this bad boy. Uh, let's see how I'm going to do it. Let's see how I'm going to do it. Up, oh, don't tear. Don't, don't rip. Don't rip on me, baby. Don't rip on me, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Now. What I need to do, one thing I forgot to do, but the Lord definitely said, baby, he ain't said baby, but the A. I'm like, okay, okay, no, okay. Okay. See, it ain't too easy. It ain't too hard for me to get an A because I'm not too far enough. Okay, guys. Let's get up real fast. I ain't getting my brush out enough. So 
I'm going to show y'all what I'm going to do. I'm going to get myself a piece of paper towel. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to drizzle my egg over just like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. see, it worked. It worked. For those of you who don't have a pastry brush, it'll work just the same, honey. Give it that nice crust. I don't want to put too much because I don't want it too hard, you know. I want it nice and soft and fluffy and flaky. I'm just going to put a little bit. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to poke some holes in here, you know. Give it some vent holes so that that steam can let out. And this is supposed to cook for like 90 minutes. But I say at the least, I mean not 90 minutes, what in the world I'm talking about? I mean 50 minutes, but at the least, y'all, 45, okay? Okay, babies? All right. We're going to take it and put it on in the oven. And I'm going to take this nice hearty one and I'm going to put it on in the oven just like that. Keep your eyes on it. Because it's going to be finger licking good and licking them fingers real good. I promise you. I promise you. You're going to be licking them fingers real good. Until we come back. Stay tuned. Okay, guys. Time is up. Look at that. Oh. Mm. Time is up, babies. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Take that out now. 50 minutes is up. Look at that. Look at that. I'm just going to take it to the edge. Let you guys see. See how that cutting up on oh, nice. Ooh, look at that. Come on, get on down in there. Look at that. Nice and juicy how I want it. Oh, yeah. So we're going to let that cool for about 20 minutes or so. And we're going to come in here and we're going to cut this up, okay? Okay, 20 minutes is up. And I'm going to give it a little cut. Oh, yeah. Look at that, guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, so my goodness ran out. I'm just going to take it and put it right on top like that. Oh, yeah, babies. Oh, yeah. It can cool a little more. Let's say I just couldn't wait. Y'all see that I was making some homemade uh, cranberry sauce. And this is what it turned out to look like. So I give it little thin slices. And this is all cranberry and sugar, y'all. And there you have it. Turkey pot pie. Turkey pot pie. And I wanted that with that nice, big, thick piece of crust. Oh, yeah. Turkey pot pie, guys. Turkey pot pie. Yeah. Now it's time for the taste test. Grab me a paper plate. Yeah. Mari, let me grab a paper plate. I'm going to let you guys taste first, okay? Oh, yeah, babies. Let's get us a knife. <laughs> okay. 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 Get y'all some of that crust off in there. Mmm, like turkey and dumplings look like. Oh, yeah. Here you go, babies. Here you go. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know what? Get y'all a little piece of cranberry in there. Woo! I'm just going to slide that up on there. Like that. Mmm. Thank you, Father, for this food. You bless us. You remove sickness and disease from the midst of us. We multiply. We replenish the earth and we subdue. We never be hungry. Another day in our life. Not now, hereafter. Or forever. In Jesus' name. You're good to us, Father. You're good. 
you always provided for us. In Jesus' name. Here you go, baby. Come on. Get that bite. Get that bite. Oh, yeah. Until next time. Mmm. Mmm. I do it just right. Trust God in everything you do. Because God will surely bring you through. Until our next video. Peace, y'all.